What if I told you that I have not paid a single dollar to the electric company in over 25 years to heat my home? And within the last year, I stopped paying them to cool my home as well. Most people are trapped into a cycle of paying the power company just to stay comfortable. But I found a way to break free. And the best part, you can do this too. The big problem I had after buying this place, putting the house up, was expenses were tight. We couldn't afford to run the heat and the AC because they're both electric. So I had to come up with a solution. Basically, I had four criteria in order to move forward with this project. One is it couldn't be too doggone expensive. Two, after I discovered whatever the answer was going to be, it had to have an ROI. An ROI for you non-financial people is called return on investment. And I needed it to be under three years. The third one, I had to decide whether we were going to do heating or cooling or what, because I highly doubted that we could afford both. And the fourth is once it was installed, it had to make us independent of the grid. What to start with, heating or cooling? Well, air conditioning technology had not changed much at that time, especially in 20 years. So that was pretty evident that wasn't going to go very far. But what about heat? Well, heat was very similar, except if you look into the past, you'll see that human beings have been heating their homes with wood for hundreds of years. So it appeared to me that's the direction we should go. So what did I do? After deciding on wood heat, I went out and bought a Vermont Castings freestanding wood stove. Now, not having a lot of experience with wood stoves, I didn't understand what the ancillary cost would be, i.e. extra stuff. So, you have to have a hearth. It gets hot behind a wood stove, and so I had to build a hearth. Okay, I did that, not a big deal. Then, we had to have wood. Well, where do you get wood? Well, fortunately, I own a couple acres of wood. But, if you don't, there's free wood everywhere after a storm. All you have to do is look around. Most of it's just sitting along the curb. I have friends that never pay a single cent for wood all winter long, heating their house this way. So was it cost effective? It was well under four grand, considering the hearth costs, the stove costs, the chainsaw. Now granted, I didn't buy the top of the line chainsaw, which I do have now, by the way, because that was a mistake. And eventually, a splitter. But you can do away with all that with an axe if you want to. After years and years and years of using this system, the ROI, well under two years. It took 25 plus years to find an air conditioning solution that met all four of my criteria. We installed an EG4 24,000 BTU mini split mini split is basically a heat pump and what that does is it heats and cools the house the cool thing about this is it's hybrid you can run it off of your regular household current or exclusively solar these panels actually completely power our air conditioning unit for the house, it runs all 24,000 BTU and I can crank that thing down to 60 if I want to. This is all done without any connection to the grid. Return on investment, I'd anticipated three years. It's gonna be less than 18 months. So, both ways of heating and cooling your home are absolute game changers. You might wanna look into it. If you want to stop throwing money away 
and take control, and I mean take control, of your home's heating and cooling. You might think about this. If you found value in this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and notify button. And let me know in the comments how you're cutting your energy costs. I sure like to hear from you. Until next time, I'll see you down at the bar.